Hi and welcome back to my shop. I have uh, my uh, tablet just stopped uh, videoing. It seems to do that periodically. It's not perfectly stable. So what I've done is I've rotated the coil and we're looking at the other connection. Which I'm going to clean off with a quite a bit of contact cleaner. <laughs> I had a little too much here. Okay. Well, the reason I'm concentrating on these connections is because I haven't seen anything else obvious, and the connections are the best guess place for a problem. So I'm going to take a closer look with the my more powerful Well, I can see the same thing here in that I can see the turn coming along and when it reaches the lead wire, which is also a twisted twisted on itself wire, it stops. It doesn't go past. Well, that lead wire looks as if it practically looks as if it goes underneath the coil. At that point. Maybe it does. Maybe that's how they uh, fixed it in place. Just looking at a spot on the coil itself it caught my attention. Okay, let's check for continuity. These things have a way of healing themselves in the middle of fiddling with them. It's this guy and this guy here. Try right on the surface of these wires, even though I think they're insulated. Well, let's, let's try one wire. I put on my my beeper. Nah, it's nothing. Scraping off the some more of the junk here. Wow. The next thing is a, a very, very, very close inspection of the coil. So I'm gonna try to turn my whole cat up here. Yes. I can come up on the other side here and get a good look at it. Using my more powerful magnifying glass. I can now see that wire quite well. It's really been cleaned sufficiently to really get a pretty good look at it. I think I see a touch of copper. Right? In there. That might be a stress point where it goes through the rivet. Uh, some bare copper would be useful. Yeah, I'm quite sure that's bare copper there. Let's let's try contacting that. Is it among the 
most fiddly work there is. Okay, that's me just testing my... Uh, there we go. I saw a reading go by. Yeah. Okay, so that so this proves the solder to this thing is good. It doesn't want to go to zero. But I did see it. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Expect this to react. Yeah. Right, I have a hard time explaining what I've been doing for the last while. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, one small step cleared. Let's continue with the close examination here. And what I'm hoping to see is any inconsistency in the turns. Anywhere a wire is protruding. I might knock this out of focus for you here. I'm a little too far. Another possibility is to try to bear off the outside turns a little wee bit. Contact them with my meter. And at that point, I'm beyond these connections. I'm right in the coil. Yuck. Well, that's not look good. Through here. I'm just using a dry brush at this point. Okay. Sorry you can't see exactly what I'm up to here, but... Ooh. That looked too good in here. I've got instruments small enough to poke around with that. It's a dental pick. I'm doing microsurgery now. It was a piece of cloth or something. Let me poke at this real questionable spot here. Sure, that's the insulation I'm knocking off. Okay, so what do I do if I find the break in the wire? 
one break in the wire. I have to fish the ends out. And then uh, splice in a short length between the ends. If the break is right near the end of the claw, you can just do away with a turn. Okay, so I just saturated it in uh, cleaner. It's definitely very dirty. Still appears to be an anomaly there. Piece of paper here. Yikes, I'll put a lot of paper fibers onto it. You see now, oops, still working over there. There's some more bare wire. More bare wire on the other on the other side. Right at the top here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I believe I have one lead in contact with a bare point on that lead wire up high, right near the coil. I'm trying to prove that by contacting a second point just a fraction away. sense of feel, everything. I think I've contacted the wire. So we should see it here. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, so that's proving the lead wire from the coil down to the other tank. So I've proven both leads are good. So that only leaves the coil itself. Let's see if I can not get a reading doing this. The shows open, so phooey, it's the coil, coil, coil. Somewhere on that coil is a break, so now I'm going to hunt that down on my own time, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.